It is determined that a given water system requires softening. Due to the amount of magnesium hardness present, excess lime is being added at 40 mg per liter to a two-stage softening process. The concentrations of the ions found in the water sample are given in the table below. How much lime will be required in pounds of CaO per million gallons of water treated? So this is the second softening problem posted to this channel. If you want to see the other, I will link it in the description. Softening seems to be a confusing topic for many people, and I'll be the first to admit that I'm not an expert myself. So let's break this problem into small steps. The problem is asking for an answer in terms of pounds per million gallons of calcium oxide, or CaO. First, we need to identify the ions on our list that are related to softening. These are going to be calcium, Ca2+, carbon dioxide, CO2, alkalinity, and magnesium, Mg2+. Note that while CO2 does not contribute to hardness, it does consume lime and so needs to be accounted for. The ions are given as concentrations in milligrams per liter. However, the problem is asking us to solve for the amount of lime required in terms of pounds of lime, or calcium oxide, CaO. So, we first need to convert these concentrations into milliequivalents per liter. Let's do this by gathering some more information about each ion. Milliequivalent is calculated by dividing the concentration that we are given by the equivalent weight of the ion. We have the concentrations, so now we just need to find the equivalent weight. This is available in the manual in sections 6.1.5.3 and 6.1.5.5. Equivalent weight is the molar mass over the charge of the ion and its units can be thought of as milligrams per milliequivalent. So looking at the manual, the equivalent weight of calcium, Ca2+, is 20. The equivalent weight of carbon dioxide, CO2, is 22. The equivalent weight of alkalinity, HCO3-, is already in milligrams per liter as CaCO3. This means that we need the equivalent weight of CaCO3 instead of HCO3-. This value is going to be 50. Finally, the equivalent weight of magnesium, Mg2+, is 12.2. And one more thing, we also need the equivalent weight of calcium oxide, CaO. This one is also in the manual and it's 28. So now that we have our equivalent weights, let's divide the concentrations by these numbers to get our milliequivalents per liter. Milliequivalents per liter is the same as the milligrams per liter over the equivalent weight. This can be thought of as the relative reactability of the ions in the solution. So 80 milligrams per liter divided by the equivalent weight of 20 is going to give us 4 milliequivalents per liter. 15 divided by 22 is going to give us 0 0.68. 130 divided by 50 is going to give us 2.6. And of course, 12.2 divided by 12.2 is going to give us 1. Once this is done, we can sum up all of these ions that are used and find our total quote-unquote reactability in milliequivalents per liter. So 4 plus 0 0.68 plus 2.6 plus 1 gives us a total of 8.28 milliequivalents per liter. For step 5, we can convert this reactable number back to calcium oxide or CaO. 
That's why we took the equivalent weight down of 28 before. So multiplying 8.28 milliequivalents per liter times 28 milligrams per milliequivalent will give us 231.84 milligrams per liter. For step six, the problem mentions that excess lime is being added at 40 milligrams per liter in this two-stage softening process. So now that we are back in the correct units, we can add the 40 milligrams per liter of lime to our 231.84. And this is going to give us a total of 271.84 milligrams per liter. For our final step, we need to do one final conversion. The problem asks for the answer in terms of pounds per million gallons. The reference manual has a conversion factor for this, and it is 8.34 pounds per million gallons over milligrams per liter. So multiplying this conversion factor times our 271.84 milligrams per liter will give us 2,267 Point fifteen pounds per million gallons. And we can see that our answer is most closely related to the fourth option on our list of answers. Softening can be a very difficult topic for a lot of people, myself included. Getting familiar with the types of ions that are involved in softening, as well as the steps needed to convert first to your milliequivalents and then to your final desired ion or chemical will be a big help in getting you on the right path to solving these problems on the exam.